What's up everybody, Avenue in here with week 6 of Fortnite, chapter 3, season 3. And this week we got some pretty simple challenges, I'd say you can probably do them, most of them, almost at once. I'm gonna show you the way I did it, you can like, you know, get everything almost done in one go. And we also got part 5 of the Vibing Quest, which if you've unlocked Indiana Jones last week, it's gonna involve his POI once again. We're gonna have to open that secret room once again. Uh, for the snap quest, we got if we complete all of these week's quests, we're going to unlock another head and another arm. And if you've done every single quest so far, we're gonna unlock another leg. Also, another thing, instead of showing you the alternative places for stuff like reality pod and baller locations. I'm gonna show these, the, uh, the alternate locations for these things later on the video before the vibing quest so that I can just, you know, just can streamline this first part doing all the challenges at once instead of, you know, just showing the alternatives right away, okay? So before we start this, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, use code Avenue at the Epic Games Store in Fortnite Item Shop. Let's start this, we are landing on Rave Cave. We got a challenge of using a baller, a zipline, and a geyser in a single match. We're gonna do a lot of the challenges here on Raid Cave. Almost right away, we're gonna land right on a baller on this location here. That's the first part of the challenge. Like I said, I'm gonna show other baller locations, which are all around Raid Cave, later on the video, before the vibing quest. Now from here, we're going to go down. We need to destroy three reality seed pods. So there are two of them right here on Rave Cave. I'm gonna get the third one later. And once again, we'll show uh, an updated version of every single location of Reality Seed Pods right now. So from here, we're gonna get the, we're gonna use the ball to go back up into Rave Cave. And we are going to the team leader, which is located here. So we need to buy an exotic weapon from a character. So team leader here sells the six shooter exotic weapon. The game also shows you the map with other characters that sell exotic weapons. But you know, again, we can all we can do almost all quests here on Rave Cave. So we're gonna do it here. Now we're gonna go down into Rave Cave. We're gonna grab a grapple glove and we're going to use the grapple glove to go up and into the zip line. And we interact with a zipline. That is a challenge. You know, use the grapple glove to catch a zipline while airborne. Also, using a zipline is the second part of the challenge of using baller, zipline, and geyser on a single match. So we're doing two things at once here. Now from here, I was going, we're going to get the third reality seed pod. We, you can go for the, the free on reality falls, but none of them were available for me. So I went for this one on the gas station at Reality Falls. That's the third one for the challenge. And once again, I'll show you more, more locations later on the video. Now we're going to a geyser. Now my plan was to go to another geyser, but I couldn't find it on the way. So I went to these ones, which I, I, is the only one I know. I'm actually not going to show you locations for geysers because I'm lazy, to be honest with you. I forgot about it. So just use the geyser here, that is the third request for the challenge, for the initial quest that we started this. So remember, use the baller, zipline and geyser on a single match. So now we're going to pick a legendary or mythic fruit from a reality sapling. So I got really lucky here because I just got my reality sapling to mythic. So I just had to pick it up. So just a reminder of how this works, so when you first uh, plant a uh, sapling, you look at the map and you're gonna see a timer for next weeding. So your fruit will be uncommon when you plant and the next weeding should be at 8 p.m. Eastern, I believe it's the time. Basically the same time the store resets is when the next weeding is gonna happen. But the first time you plant, the next weeding is actually going to be on the next match. So just, you know, look out, you don't actually have to wait 24 hours for the first one. So just plant it, go to the first to the next match you should be the next weeding when you weed the plant your plant 
it's going to grow to another rarity, so uncommon to rare. And now you have to wait 24 hours unless it's before 8 p.m. So, which was my case here. Uh, so I was about three hours away from the from my next waiting. So I did the first one, like I said, uncommon to rare. And the rare to epic should be just three hours. And then the epic to legendary is gonna be 24 hours because that's how it works. So it's technically not 24 hours, it's a, always at 8 p.m. Eastern, if that makes sense. So obviously after epic is legendary, after legendary, mythic. Now I, I'm not sure, I've had situations where the mythic wouldn't show up after winning a legendary, so I don't know why that is. I don't know if it requires two weddings, more than one wedding, I don't know. But just make sure you keep waiting. You know, so far nobody ever destroyed my sapling, thankfully. People have taken from my sapling, that's okay. Uh, thankfully, when, when your sapling becomes legendary and mythic, it gets protected. Actually, I think it's just mythic, because I was able to pick up someone's legendary loot. But you can't get someone else's loot when it's mythic. So at least you got that going on for you to have a protection. So it should take you a few days to do this, unfortunately. If you haven't done, if you are not playing the game normally. But you just have to log in, go to your sapling, wait it out. And keep doing this every day until you get mythic. And then just loot it. And that is the challenge. Now next up we got to deal damage to opponents with rare or better assault rifle. We need to do a thousand damage. So here I initially do it against a wolf. But we just get 250 damage. So it would take like four wolves. But what I'm actually going to do is go. It's something I haven't done yet. Is go to man cake on rocky reels. You can initiate a duel with him. And... You can just do damage with your AR. Remember, it has to be rare or higher rarity. And I didn't do a thousand damage because I did do damage before this. I think I had like 400 damage done. So his health is probably 600, maybe 500. So, you know, you might not get it all at once here. But, you know, it's a guaranteed place. You can do this. It's much easier than doing against an actual enemy. Another alternative you can do is against Darth Vader and Stormtroopers. You can actually land on where they land and get a, uh, the Star Wars weapon, I forgot the name. It should count as, a, as an assault rifle and just do a thousand damage. I think there are multiple Stormtroopers plus Darth Vader, you should get a thousand damage there, there easily. Speaking of Darth Vader, we got another quest here. Land headshots from 40 or more meters with the hammer assault rifle. So I'm doing this or part of this against Darth Vader. He was already aggro on someone else here. I was able to do four headsh no three headshots. No, I'm not that good at headshots, and from a distance is even worse. Try to mark the position where whether it's Darth Vader or maybe a wolf, whatever it is that you're trying to make do damage. Try to mark them or around them so that you know that you are 40 meters of distance. Just to make sure you're doing it right. So now you've got to do 5 headshots. So I guess technically the damage doesn't matter. It just has to be headshots 5 times. No, normally when they have shield, you can't really tell if it's a headshot. So there is a sound to the headshot. But the best way I can identify is... You can look at the number you're getting normally, and the headshot will, it will obviously be higher. But just keep trying, you know, if you're not as good at headshotting like I am not that good. You know, it's just five. You should get it eventually. And it has to be with the hammer, by the way. I forgot. Yeah, so I can only get two against Darth Vader. And so I, I go towards the Stormtroopers, and I do two more headshots. And also, I was still missing one, unfortunately. And I get one from an actual player here. But yeah, that shouldn't be that much of a problem, I believe. If you're really struggling, go to Team Rumble. You know, you can get a distance and see people. 
really easily there. Or maybe get to Darth Vader before someone else gets there. Because he's going to be standing still. But that is it for the weekly quests. So now, like I said, I'm going to show you the alternative locations for ballers and an updated version of the Reality Seed Pods locations. So we got two ballers that can spawn here in the location that I initially went to. Now here up north we got one location. Inside of Rave Cave we got two more locations. West of Rave Cave, we got one location. And finally, all the way up top at the head of the team leader thing, we got three locations for ballers. So now for the Reality Saplings updated location. So we got a bunch of saplings in Shuffle Shrines, which is the new Indiana Jones themed POI. And we got six spots here. Now another new location for this week is all the way near Rave Cave, the red near the bridge, the red bridge. We got two more pod locations here. So now we're going to once again just a refresher on all the possible reality C pod locations that we covered so far. So we got one in the middle of the Log Gem Lotus Lake, and we got six pods on Log Gem Lotus. Once again, I'm doing this on replay, and because I wasn't anywhere near this location, it's not all rendered. Now we're going towards Rave Cave, the two that I got uh, near Rave Cave. Now going into Reality Falls, there are three near the tree, the Reality Tree. And then on the gas station of Reality Falls, there are two. One of the ones I, I got. Now near in between Greasy Grove and Tuesday Towers, we got two pods. Now right outside of Tuesday Towers, got another two. We got one north of Rocky Reels. And lastly, we got five pods on this location that already changed from last week. I believe it's called Butter Bloom. So yeah, those are all the pod locations for right now. So now we're going into the Vibing Quest Part 5. Like I said, they're all located around the Shuffle Shrines POI. So the first device up link is on Shuffle Shrines. And I actually did this on Team Rumble because most of the channel, most of the quests are around here. A few of them are like Rocket Reels and Sanctuary. But you know, since you can respawn, I think you can do a lot of you can do a lot of progress on Team Rumble. So it's up to you what you want to do. Thank you for helping Amy secure that relic. She's great, right? I mean, extremely intense, and she won't stop calling me daddy, but, you know, she's still in beta. So anyway, I found another relic. This one's broken into three pieces at the temple. I'm sending you and Amy to look into it, and maybe you could take her out for an ice cream or something. So the first challenge is dig up dirt piles to find the relic shard. So you can see the 
the dirt piles on the mini map and also if you're close enough you're gonna see them in game like i see here through walls just hit them with your pickaxe until you find the shard and the goal here for this part is gonna be finding all the shards basically So now we gotta attune the relic shard and the attuning is going to be on rocky reels kind of right outside in between rocky reels and the butter bloom landmark so just interact with this pedestal i think uh, One shard down, two shards to go. now we got the next device uplink so once again you got a few locations on shuffle shrines but we also got a few locations here near where we are so if you if you didn't die, just go here, might as well. But if you did die, just go to Shuffle Shrines because the next part of the challenge is once again over there. With my duodecillion core quantum processor and your legs, we'll get that relic shard in no time. So the actual challenge is block the pipes to build pressure. So it's three pipes on Shuffle Shrines. Just interact with these pipes here. Next, we gotta unclog the main pipe to free the relic shard. So the main pipe is right here, the same spot, same spots. And now I'll just collect the relic shard, the second relic shard. Okay, attune this shard in the right bio while I read my favorite book, The Scientist's Search History. What is Zero Point doing? How to fix Zero Point? Uh, emergency robot therapist. Now, once again, we're gonna attune the relic shard. And it's going to be all the way over on the sanctuary or the island at sanctuary where the statue used to be and just interact with the pedestal once again oh, it's attuned. The scientist is going to be so proud of me. now the next device up link we got some on sanctuary some on shuffle shrines just go to shuffle shrines just easier And the challenge is align the three mirrors. So in Shuffer Shrine, just, just follow where I go here and you'll see the mirrors. It, it's not a puzzle, you just interact with the ones they tell you to interact with. And the shard, another shard is going to show up, collect it. Now we're going to attune the relic shard once again on the sanctuary. Now this is more on sanctuary, even more than the last time. You've collected and attuned all three shards. It's time for the reckoning. I mean the reassembly. They're right next to each other in my word bank. Now the next device uplink once again is the same locations as the last time, but you know, I was on the storm here, so I went to the one the nearest to the Atun of the Relic, which is right north of Sanctuary. But you can go to Shuffle Shrines again because, you know, the last part is on Shuffle Shrines. Amy tells me you attuned all three shards. Somebody's been reading the Shardonomicon. I mean, probably her, but somebody's been reading it. And the last part is enter the main chamber at Shuffle Shrines. 
So if you did the, if you unlock Indiana Jones, you know how to do this, but I'm gonna explain it again. To unlock the main chamber, we need four symbols, and I'm gonna show you the locations. So try, you don't need to remember the actual symbols, just remember the color to make it easier. There are three colors, red, yellow, blue, and and they need to be on a certain order. The order that I'm showing them is the order we're going to need from left to right. So first of all, the first symbol is red, the second symbol is blue, the third symbol is red, And the fourth and final symbol is also red. Once again, it's not always the same. Every match is going to be a different, a different color, a different symbol. So you know you have to look at the symbols. So now we're going to the main entrance of the chamber. We got these three stones, and now we just do it in the order that I, we just found out. And it's going to open the chamber. So just be careful when you enter here, because if you step on any of the the brown tiles is going to shoot a, some traps. Thankfully, one trap is not going to kill you, but you know, if you step on multiple of them, it's going to kill you. So, the actual objective is not interacting with this thing here. The actual objective is combine the relic shards in the main chamber. So, we go to the left, this little room here, interact with this pedestal, and it's going to combine the relics and that is the final step for part 5 of the vibe quest By the way, you don't actually have to do this to open the chamber if someone else opens the chamber you can just walk in and combine the relic, okay? So, no. but just to make sure, I explain you how it's done. And that is it, everyone. Another week of challenges, another vibing class parts, and that is it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, use code Avignon at the Avid Game Store and the Fortnite Item Shop. I'll see you next week for more. Goodbye.